Call the member for Hindmarsh. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Um, Deputy Speaker, tonight I'm very pleased uh, to report and uh, to say uh, uh, thanks to a one million grant from the Australian Federal Government, my electorate of Hindmarsh is about to get some great new sporting facilities. Uh, Deputy Speaker, as a kid growing up in the western suburbs in my electorate, um, I uh, uh, always loved uh, the world game and I grew up playing, uh, playing it uh, uh, with uh, friends, with school, uh, club competition and amateur competition as well on weekends. Um, we watched matches as kids and uh, idolised favourite players and it was always a big part of our lives. Uh, later on uh, in life, uh, Deputy Speaker, I coached uh, teams. I coached junior um, Premier League uh, uh, Adelaide Olympians, uh, their junior side and uh, junior sides of the National, team, National uh, League uh, West Adelaide. And uh, when I had kids, they, they also played uh, locally too. And now uh, the sport is even more popular uh, than ever. Deputy Speaker, today in South Australia there is over 23,000 players registered with the Football Federation of South Australia. More than 40,000 primary school students take part in football programs every year run by the Federation. Uh, it's a great way to keep fit, have fun, uh, and it is a great game to participate in. Uh, but in the last few years, finding enough space for all the teams to train and play has been tough. Uh, many clubs have complicated sharing arrangements uh, or have to travel long distances to play due to the lack of uh, pitches. Uh, so a few months ago, I sat down with Adelaide Shores in my electorate and the Football Federation of Australia to see what we can do. Uh, the CEO of the Football Federation, Mr Michael Carter, told me that current pressure on playing fields is at breaking point. Uh, he told me we needed more high quality pitches in the western suburbs to ensure people could get involved uh, close to home. Uh, he also told me that we needed more high quality pitches uh, to be able to promote the game and to have more children playing. Now, Deputy Speaker, fortunately, uh, new playing fields uh, were one of the key projects on Adelaide Shores master plan. Uh, the CEO of Adelaide Shores, Kate Williams, and the board chairman of Adelaide Shores, Mr Bernie Lange, had a great plan to build a new state-of-the-art facility which would become a new hub for football in the western suburbs. Um, Deputy Speaker, we, we made uh, applications to the Treasurer and to the Minister uh, Simon Crean and told them if, uh, if the Australian government could pay half, then Adelaide Shores could organise the other half. So I was very stoked when they agreed. Um, almost immediately, and for that I have to thank Adelaide Shores and the Football Federation of South Australia for putting together such a high quality uh, proposal. Uh, the project will be underway very soon and I'm absolutely pleased because when it is finished more than a thousand players uh, will be uh, able to use the new facilities every, every single week. Uh, local clubs will get some breathing space. The Football Fe Federation of South Australia will be able to offer its programs to more children and adults and teams and the economic benefit to South Australia uh, are, are huge. Deputy Speaker, Adelaide Shores is of course already a huge attraction with its golf course, caravan parks, sports fields and much more, all on the beautiful coast of West Beach in my electorate. Uh, it's a popular holiday spot and welcomes many school students every year for camps. Uh, Deputy Speaker, it's also the Surf Life Savings uh, new headquarters uh, called Surf Central, which I was really pleased um, to uh, see that they received a $1.5 million grant for this, uh, for, for this uh, Surf Central uh, uh, new building and new headquarters for Surf Life Saving. The new headquarters will be opening very soon, which is very exciting. But thanks to this funding, which has been provided by the Australian Government, Adelaide Shores is now uh, also going to be the new premier football hub in the western suburbs. More children and adults will get the chance to play sport at all levels and there will be stronger pathways for those wanting to reach that elite level. And I have no doubt that with the, the level of talent that we have in, in the western suburbs, there will be some kids coming through that end up being just as good as their sporting heroes. Uh, included in this money is funding to establish the first FIFA star rated pitch uh, in South Australia. This is a huge achievement and it will mean that the Football Federation will be able to attract major tournaments like the National High School Championships and the Youth Championships. Deputy Speaker, this is in addition to the men's, women's, juniors development uh, and social competitions which will all use these new facilities. Uh, so, Deputy Speaker, congratulations to the Adelaide Shores and the Football Federation of South Australia. Um, they're uh, fantastic partners uh, of the Australian Government and it's my pleasure to have delivered and assisted them with the $1 million funding uh, for this project. Um, to see uh, that uh, this grant will enable them to provide further value to the community, particularly for people in the western suburbs, through the provision of high-quality, well-managed uh, well uh, sport and recreation facilities.